Now the children of Reuben and the children of Gad had a very great multitude of cattle, and when they saw the land of Jazer and the land of Gilead, that behold, the place was a place for cattle, the children of Gad and the children of Reuben came and spake unto Moses and to Eliezer the priests and unto the priests, princes of the congregation, saying, Adaroth and Dibon and Jazer and Nimrah and Heshbon and Elielah and Shebam, and Nebo, and beyond, even the country which the Lord smote before the congregation of Israel, is a land for cattle, and thy servants of cattle. Wherefore said they, If we have found grace in thy sight, let this land be given unto thy servants for a possession, and bring us not over Jordan. And Moses said unto the children of Gad, and to the children of Reuben, Shall your brethren go to war, and shall ye sit here? And wherefore discourage ye the heart of the children of Israel from going over into the land which the Lord hath given them? Thus did your fathers when I sent them from Kadesh Barnea to see the land. For when they went up into the valley of Eshcol and saw the land, they discouraged the heart of the children of Israel that they should not go into the land which the Lord had given them. And the Lord's anger was kindled the same time. And he swore, saying, Surely none of the men that came out of Egypt from twenty years old and upward shall see the land which I swore unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, because they have not wholly followed me, save Caleb the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, and Joshua the son of Nun, for they have wholly followed the Lord. And the Lord's anger was kindled against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness forty years, until all the generation that had done evil in the sight of the Lord was consumed. And behold, ye are risen up in your father's stead, an increase of sinful men to argument, yet the fierce anger of the Lord toward Israel. For if ye turn away from after him, he will yet again leave them in the wilderness, and ye shall destroy all this people. And they came near unto him and said, We will build sheepfolds here for our cattle and cities for our little ones, but we ourselves will go ready armed before the children of Israel until we have brought them unto their place. And our little ones shall dwell in the fenced cities because of the inhabitants of the land. We will not return into our houses until the children of Israel have inherited every man his inheritance. For we will not inherit with them on yonder side Jordan or forward, because our inheritance is fallen to us on this side of Jordan eastward. And Moses said unto them, If you will do this thing, if you will go armed before the Lord to war, and we will go all of you armed over Jordan before the Lord until he hath driven out his enemies from before him. And the land be subdued before the Lord, then afterward ye shall return and be guiltless before the Lord and before Israel, and this land shall be your possession before the Lord. And if you will not do so, behold, you have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find you out. Build your cities for your little ones, and folds for your sheep, and do that which hath proceeded out of your mouth. And the children of Gad and the children of Reuben spake unto Moses, saying, Thy servants will do as my Lord commandeth. Our little ones, our wives, our flocks, and all our cattle shall be there in the cities of Gilead. But thy servants will pass over every man armed for war before the Lord to battle, as my Lord saith. So concerning them Moses commanded Eliezer the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the chief fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel. And Moses said unto them, If the children of Gad and the children of Reuben will pass with you over Jordan, every man armed to battle before the Lord, and the land shall be subdued before you, then ye shall give them the land of Gilead for a possession. But if they will not pass over with you armed, they shall have possessions among you in the land of Canaan and the children of Gad and the children of Reuben answered saying as the Lord has said unto my servants so will we do we will pass over armed before the Lord into the land of Canaan uh, that the possession of our inheritance on this side of Jordan may be ours and Moses gave unto them even to the children of Gad and to the children of Reuben and unto half the tribe of Manasseh the son of Joseph the kingdom of Sihon king of the Amorites and the kingdom of Og king of Bashan the land with the cities thereof in the coast, even the cities of the country round about. And the children of Gad built Dibon, and Adaroth, and Aror, and Ashroth, Shophan, and Jazer, and Jagbaha, and Beth Nimrah, and Beth Haran, fenced cities and folds for sheep. And the children of Reuben built Heshbon, and Elila, and Kerjethium, and Nebo, and Baalim, Baal me on their names have their names being changed in Shim, Shibma, and gave other names unto the cities which they have builded. And the children of Matur, the son of Manasseh, went to Gilead and took it. 
and disposed of the Amorite which was in it. And the Moses gave Gilead unto Matur the son of Manasseh, and he dwelt therein. And Jair the son of Manasseh went, and took the small towns thereof, and called them Havoth Jair. And Noboth went and took Kenneth and the villages thereof, and called it Nobah after his own name.